Hey everyone, welcome back to Patch Hog Firearms Restoration. So I finally got my 300 Blackout Ruger American Action bedded into my Boyd's Pepper Laminate Stock. In this video I'm going to show you guys and gals how to go through all the steps to bed this action in and get ready to have a lot of fun shooting. Hang on, here we go. Alright, so the first step is we're going to degrease and get rid of all the oils on the two lugs so that the bedding compound sticks properly to them. I'm going to use some birchwood cleaner degreaser. Gonna rinse it off with a little spray of water. And make sure they're dried thoroughly. Make sure your fingers get dry too in case your fingers pick up any latent oil. Give both the lugs a good once over, make sure you got everything, make sure they're nice and dry. And then set them off to the side. Okay, up next we're going to use the mold release agent. We're going to put the wax on all the parts that we don't want to stick to the bedding compound. I'm also going to put some on the back of the magazine and the floor plate right here because this is very close to uh, one of the lugs. And if any comes out onto the back of the plastic on the floor plate, I don't want the floor plate to stick to the bedding compound. So I'm just going to squirt a little out here. Work it around. Spread it around with a brush. Set that aside. I'm going to put a little on the two screws. Last thing we want is to get a screw stuck up up in there. So we're going to do the long screw, short screw, get it all into the threads, get it on the end. Right. 
Next up, we're going to put some on the bottom of the receiver, up in this area, all along the bottom, and then up in this area, and up against the trigger assembly. working into those nooks and crannies with a brush get a nice even coat everywhere don't be afraid to put on what seems like too much because if it sticks later and you're fussing about it and you're crying because it's sticking I don't want to hear about it And work it all into the, all them nooks and crannies, especially up in the areas where the lug itself is going to sit, and then where the bedding compound's probably going to squeeze out. This will all clean up real nice later. There we go. We're all prepped. Next thing we're going to do is mix up some compound, some bedding compound, and then we'll start dabbing some into the stock. All right, up next we're going to mix up our epoxy. Take a popsicle stick and run it down and get all the stuff out. And go ahead and mix it till it's all one uniform color. pretty good all right I'm gonna set that aside we're gonna get the rifle in place and we're gonna throw this stuff together all right there we go get this all down in where the lugs are gonna sit Working with snot, it's really nice. Make sure to get a good uniform coat everywhere where the lug is going to sit down on.
you want to get enough in there where it squishes out from under the lug once we put the receiver on but you don't want to put an excessive amount in they probably give you enough in the Boyd's kit to probably do a dozen guns with this one pack of epoxy Okay, then we're going to take our lugs and drop them into place. take a q-tip and run it down through the holes and get out the excess that's in the hole Next, I'm going to put the mag well in. Double check that they got good clearance down through the holes and there's not too much epoxy in the holes. That looks pretty good. All right, moment of truth. I'm drop the receiver on. Make sure it gets down on the lugs real good, and then we're going to flip this over while carefully holding this all together. And we're going to put, like we did before, we're going to put the large bolt in first. And sock that down. And then we're going to put the short bolt in. down make sure they're both snug give it one last final look over everything looks pretty good all right we're just going to put this in the gun rest and we're going to let this set up for 24 hours all right so we're back one of the only one of the things i like to do the most is always keep the epoxy that you mixed up nearby and then when you think it's cured, you can come back and pull on the popsicle stick and see if it stays in the friggin' epoxy. Just check if your epoxy's fully cured. Looks like it is, so. Let's take a couple of these screws out. I'll take the front one off first. Backing out nice. There was a slight crack to it, so it tells me that it's probably sticking a little bit, but the the wax did its job. It's going to thread out all the way. Set that off to the side. Got a little bit at the tip. Yeah, and it just it just it's a little bit on the tip of the screw, but it just broke off because we put the uh, the wax on. Okay. 
back one's coming out nice and easy. Oh, look at that. It just fell right out. Let's see what we got in here. Push that screw out. Back screw came out. A little bit of stuff boogering on it, but we'll clean that right up. And let's see if we can get the, uh, yep, and the mag, and the floor plate come right out. A little bit stuck on the mag plate, but again, it came right off because we put the mold release on it. Doesn't look like too much is on the bottom of the action. Looks like the agent worked really good. Not as much squished out as I would have liked. But all in all, the, uh, the blocks look like they're set in very good. And... Once we real clean up all the parts and bits and pieces and put this back together, I think we'll be ready to go and uh, have a little fun uh, shooting this. Well, that's all I got for you guys and gals today. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you have a passion for rebuilding and conserving old firearms, or in this case, fixing up new modern ones. And I'll see you on the next episode of Patchogue Firearms Restoration. Have a great day.